Welcome to Computex 2023, and we are at the ASRock booth here, and I am joined by someone really special, Wendell from Level 1 Techs. How you doing, man? I'm okay. A little jet lag, a little spacey. So what happened here was I came into the booth, saw Wendell, and he's just getting so excited about this AMD AM5 product that they won't show us the motherboard it's for. so exciting. I can't take it apart. Why can't I take it apart? So basically, do you want to spill the beans on why you're excited for this one? So, okay, you know the desk meet. You got you to check out the reviews on the desk meet. You got to check out the product. It's a tiny little ITX-ish. It's not quite. It's a little bigger than ITX. You got to check it out. That's old news, right? Okay, there's an AM5 version, up to 192 terabytes of memory in this tiny form factor, and you can add an aftermarket GPU. So like the 7600 reference edition, the Challenger, whatever, PCIe Gen 5 storage, in a tiny little cube, and they're gonna their their MSRP is gonna be two hundred ish US dollars. They say, and that's what it's all about. It's about getting that small form factor. I've actually been a big fan of ITX lately. I mean, my main PC is ITX now. So when Wendell's getting excited about this, I'm like, what are you excited about? He's like, you can fit all this memory, you can do all this, and you're you're more involved in the server side of things too. Yeah. yeah. Well, th for like a home server, building one of these into a home server, if you forego the GPU, they've built you some uh, some keyholes you can use to turn this into a home server. So if you get rid of the GPUs, there's room enough for two physical three and a half inch hard drives, plus a two and a half inch SSD, plus there's dual M.2. So you could throw in a couple of 20 terabyte storage drives in there, have the transcoding, the hardware transcoder and everything else and be good to go. So that's uh, for me, I'm excited of course to check it out for gaming and fitting in an RX 7600 in there on a budget, low profile, low power profile. I think this thing could be a big winner. Though because it's not released yet, we can't check out the internals, which is one thing that kind of bothers us both. They do have the motherboard. Uh, they do have the motherboards on the wall, including the B760 ITX, which is an upgrade. And so, if you already have a desk meet and you just want to buy the board, you can just buy the board. They say. So that looks like some great options on AMD. But speaking of these AMD motherboards, we're going to go check out what else is on display here. Thank you, Wendell, for joining us. There's also the desk slim version, which is a different physical layout. But look at it. It's same. It's so tiny. Here we are now with something that is really impressive from ASRock. They are listening to what people want. And this time around, it's in the form of a B650E Tai Chi Lite. And the Lite is basically going away from the original Tai Chi formula in that you still get a 24-phase VRM. You still get all the features that the original Tai Chi has, but you get less heat sinks and less RGB. And it's going to come in around $100 cheaper than the original B650E Tai Chi. So you're going to be getting that amazing performance out of the AM5 socket without all the extra flair that a lot of the times those flagship motherboards carry, but a lot of us don't need. Now moving on with the budget entry level side of AM5, ASRock haven't forgotten about those who want to keep costs down but also keep the feature set up. And here is the A620M Pro RS Wi-Fi where you still get the Wi-Fi and you also get three M.2 slots as well as the ability to take any of these CPUs on the AM5 platform up to 120 watts. So this will work perfectly with 7800X3D on a budget, as well as a lot of other CPUs where you can just tune down those aggressive profiles under Vault, and you'll be able to run it even with an inexpensive A620. Now, also another thing is, I'm told, this board, although it's power limited 120 watts, you can do some funny stuff with it and get it up to around 160 watts. So it seems like overall with the motherboards, ASRock is listening to people who are on a budget but still want quality motherboards. Now, if you like AMD RX GPUs, you are going to love what ASRock are bringing to the market now with not just their higher end stuff where they've got the RX 7900 XTX in white in the Tai Chi version, but they're also focusing on people who want white aesthetic on a budget with their RX 7600 eight gigabyte OC. And the best thing is here is you're not losing out on really any feature set with especially the Steel Legend. We still got that triple fan solution. So you're gonna get cool temperatures just like our Phantom Gaming RX 7600 that we took a look at here on the channel. But you're now gonna get that wide aesthetic and the RGB is still there. So as we're keeping the cost down, but giving you options. But of course, if you wanna spend unlimited amounts of money, then you've got the Aqua RX 7900XTX here, which has a custom V BIOS that you can just basically take the power limits off. And if you go into AMD's Radeon software, they've usually got that power profile limited at a certain percentage. This goes away with that, so you can tune it to Thanos's end.
What did it cost us? Everything. And guys, that is it for the Azrock booth here today on the AMD products. And big thanks to Wendell for joining us. He's actually going to take this outro away because my voice is battered. Oh my gosh, it's Brian in Tech Yes City and everything's amazing. And you should subscribe and comment and watch and like the bell. And I don't know, stuff's happening. We'll catch you later. We will catch you later, guys. Peace out for now. Bye. Everything.